This is a letter. A letter to my lovely future handsome husband. So I write, Dear future husband, the one I haven't met yet, I hope you're taking care of yourself and enjoying every moment. I already know you everything I'm looking for. Just but a reminder that you're the man who's gonna walk me down the aisle, buy me from my own parents and make me leave my family just to go be with you till death do us part. The vows will be the answers to the prayers you're making right now. One moment and you've become so important. You've become part of my heart. Your love is so true. And I could see through my ovaries. Since they keep twerking day by day and screaming, that's our papa, mama. So husband, maybe I should let you know that your wife is the paragon of beauty. Say not of beauty. I'm the best or odd but goddess of beauty. My touch, my smile, my presence and soul mesmerizes and entangles everyone completely. A world can attest to this. The sugared scent of marigold in the full bloom can't even overpower my presence in the room. Oh, sorry, in our bedroom. My hair is fine like that of an older wife. My big eyes hold a vision of the road of life. My lips are soft and red like wine. My beauty so bright and warm shining through the darkest storm. Staring at me will make you feel like just a glimpse of me knocks off all the fine guys. Everyone had gone on their knees and thanked heaven above for my beauty. I'm the most precious and sacred treasure. Men will dance and sing and show off their might in the hopes that they could get to own me. I deserve a crown, a scepter and a throne. For my beauty is so breathtaking. I'm the paragon of beauty, honey. I change everything to a better deal. Thoughts of me cloud every man's mind. My innocence has struck everyone. My beauty has led every man's sense to an intensive fight. Truly, I'm not of planet Earth. Oh, of Venus, your daughter will be of. You see these men? They're waiting for me to unleash upon them my violet hue. Indeed, I'll be mother of Venus. For lucky is you. And the even number of kids I'll bless you with. If they ask me to describe you, I'll say, You're not blind. Not physically, but you're not blind. You're not insecure and jealous. And you'll be able to love me for who I am and celebrate all my wins. You're not mommy's boy, are you? You're not abusive physically, emotionally, or psychologically. You're not hot tempered. You're not stingy. You're not unruly. And you're not unfaithful. And you know what? I believe you're a believer. So before I put my pen down, I want to ask you for three favors. Please don't spoil me. Just pamper me. Please respect me like you respect your own mama. Protect me like your own sister. Love me like your daughter. And have eyes on me as your wife, not your slave. And I hope when your fellow married men will ask you, what does your wife bring to the table? You'll be able to stand on your feet and tell them, she is my table.